Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibal and I'm a manifestation and soul realignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to be loved, chosen and pursued. But before we get started, just a quick reminder that I have both email and video coaching. So if you need help in manifesting any of your desires or in releasing any of your blocks, you definitely want to check out all my coaching options. They are in the description below. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon in order to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So today's video is all about how to become that person who is loved, chosen, and pursued. To be able to explain how all of this is working, we want to look at the identity of the person who is not loved, chosen, and pursued. The person who's perhaps rejected, not chosen, not committed to, whatever that situation is or circumstance, it has its own identity, which is a state of lack, which has its own beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions. And the person who is loved, chosen, and pursued has a very different identity. They have different beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions. It's very natural for them to be loved, chosen, and pursued. It's very natural. It, they just are. And I'm sure you've seen people who are like that and you say, how do they do it? They just expect that they are loved, chosen and pursued regardless. They always expect that. So how do you go from that person to that person? You can do it in one of two ways, because on my channel, I speak about two different approaches which is manifesting through 5D versus manifesting through 4D, which I will link above a video that explains that all perfectly. But I will tell you a little bit here what that is. So when you're manifesting through 5D, you are aligned with the operant power that you are. You are transcending all identities altogether. When you are in I am presence, which is the knowing and awareness behind the thoughts, the part of you that notices the thoughts as they are happening, in that I am presence, you transcend all identities. So essentially you get to this point. And then from that, you're not no longer identified with that person because you're just not identified with the thoughts. You're noticing that the thoughts are not really you they are of the mind which is not you you are not the mind in that state you can then claim the identity of the person who is loved chosen and pursued you just claim that and you you do that by just holding as much presence as possible in the sense you're not allowing thoughts to take over you're always transcending the thoughts you're always not engaging with the thoughts altogether and knowing that you're going to then slip into the desired identity. So when I work with my clients on identity shifting, I help them do that. I help them claim that identity and they don't do any manifesting practices whatsoever. We help align them with the I am presence through being present by not engaging with thoughts by noticing the thoughts and releasing them it's a practice that i help them do so essentially you shift automatically using i am presence to shift from a to b and in your i am presence you are aligned with the operant power within there's only fulfillment in that state there's only beingness and existence and there's no identification with thoughts so this is manifesting through 5D. The other approach is manifesting through 4D, which is using the subconscious mind. You work on impressing the new beliefs. And when you do this, you do this either through repetition, which is affirmations, or you do it through visualization, 
which could be either a mental image, a snapshot, or an actual visual scene. You do these, you choose the practice that you resonate with, and you persist with that practice. So I highly recommend that you, if you decide I'm going to use affirmations, you stick with the affirmations. Don't jump techniques. This is key. When you persist with a technique, you're going to shift. But when you're jumping techniques, you're not being consistent. And so you're not impressing the new story into your subconscious mind because you're shifting techniques. So we want to persist with the same affirmations, whatever they are, for self-concept. When you persist with that just for a few days, you're going to shift. And then you're automatically going to be that person who is loved, chosen, and pursued. You're going to feel it internally. You're, it's going to show up because you have the beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions of the person who is, who is loved, chosen, and pursued. So you will start to feel that you are that person. It is an inner shift. And then that will be manifested automatically in 3d because the people have to mirror to you your inner state so we'll do this in three steps the first step is the one you need to persist in until you get your manifestation the second and third steps are not going to require effort from you except for the first few days because these will not require effort afterwards and I'll explain what these are. So step one is you choose a technique and you stick with it. Let's say you're choosing affirmations. You affirm, I am loved, I am chosen, I am pursued, I am adored, I am committed to. You state these affirmations again and again for at least 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, three times a day. And I highly recommend you do them at the same time every day in order to create that habit, because we said the first step is the one you need to persist with until you get your manifestation, until the 3D reflects it back. The second one is just for a few days, you want to really be conscious about your opposing thoughts. You want to redirect, you want to, maybe if you're feeling immensely triggered, just bring yourself back into presence and not engage with them. You may also want to tap them out. I talk about tapping in this video. It will help release those triggered assumptions. So the second thing is you want to redirect your opposing thoughts. This only requires a bit of effort in the beginning with time when you shift, when you start feeling like you're loved, chosen and pursued, you will not have those opposing thoughts that say you're not. So that will dissolve, that will go away. But in the beginning, you have to do that. The third thing you want to do is not check 3D for validation because you're kind of negating the work. So in the beginning, again, you will need to do that in order to get into that state. In the beginning, only because after you shift into that state, you're not concerned with 3D. You will find yourself automatically unbothered. But in the beginning, you have to put in a little bit of willpower until you reach that state, which does not take long, just through a little bit of consistency and persistence. It could be less than a week where you actually shift and then you hold that state. You'll find it very easy to not be concerned with 3D. The key thing you need to do is to not stop step one step one is the one you want to persist in because a lot of the time people get into that feeling they say i don't feel like i need to do the affirmations anymore or the visualization anymore and so then you kind of fall back into old habits right technically a habit is formed after they say 21 days but it could take longer so if you persist for seven days i tell you you can within less than seven days you get into that state if you stop step one, you're going to go back because the habit does not happen except after 21 days. And technically, technically, it can extend up to three months, the habit. So you have to persist with step one so that you don't go back to A. And here I'm not saying that you have to persist for three months, but I'm saying the old story will be completely dissolved when you've really made it a complete habit and 
up until that three month range, you can fall back, right? So you don't want to fall back. So once you hit that feeling, which is very fast within less than a week, you persist with one, two and three, which is controlling your opposing thoughts and being unconcerned with 3D will be very natural for you because you're in that state, right? The key is to persist with one, which is the practice, the manifesting practice, which is the affirmation or the visualization. You persist with these until you manifest. That is it. There is nothing different. So for you to be loved, chosen and pursued, don't look for it outside of yourself. You feel it first, you become it first. And becoming it is much easier than you think. It's just about repeating, right? into your subconscious mind for a few days you will get there you will feel it and then you hold holding it becomes easy but the key is to persist with the manifesting technique and once you get there once that internal state is there that's what they say you say state of being comes first your state of consciousness comes first that feeling inner feeling comes first that inner state comes first your 3d then has to match it but don't look for validation from 3d so a lot of the time people look at the behaviors of others for that validation that woman or that man who is that never care what someone else is doing they don't ever receive validation from someone they feel it for them and then that validation comes in you're like well, how do they do it because it's an inner state they are never bothered by 3D. They never look for that validation. And ironically, that's how they always get that validation. They're going to get it because they're holding that state. I hope this is really clear. And this is something you can do for life with any person, not just your SP, any person. You will always feel love, chosen and pursued when you get this. It's all inner and it's not difficult. You're just choosing a practice and committing to it and you will shift and once you reach that internal state you find it easy to persist you're no longer bothered by the time you actually will manifest very fast because you're not bothered with the time because you're not feeling like you're waiting because you're not concerned with 3d that's when you manifest like that i hope you liked this video if you did then please like comment and share and i look forward to seeing you again in the next video